Good uh, morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Thursday, 25th of January training. Can you believe we are on the 25th of January already? I mean, this is a month gone for the year, just blink of an hour. Um, so obviously we've got 72 people on the call. We've got something so exciting for everybody tonight. But um, before I jump straight in, um, we've got George on the call and you guys um, have all known and seen George, but you've seen he's, he's been away for the last uh, three weeks. Uh, George has been on a cruise with a whole lot of uh, business people and met the most amazing, amazing people. George has been telling me all the people he's met along the journey, but he met somebody very special, Nedra Wendell. I had the honor of being on a call with her two nights ago. It was uh, 12 o'clock at night. It was midnight our time, and we were on until like nearly one in the morning. And um, I could have carried on till three in the morning. The words of wisdom that Nedra shared with us, absolutely amazing. Um, just quickly before I hand, it, hand over to George, something that really stuck out for me is the money blocks that people have got. And as we've been in the business for over a year now, we talk to a lot of people and a lot of people say, oh, money's not important to me. And, you know, when people say money's not important to me, I think about the saying that Zig Ziglar says, it's important. It's right up there with air, right up there with air. And all it really is, is just your relationship to money. And this is all on a subconscious level. As soon as Nedra said that, I was like, oh, my goodness, please, can you get onto the call and um, share this information with everybody? So, um so, George, it's so nice to have you back. Anybody um, that, well, so many new people have joined since you've been gone in the last three weeks. Some people are going, who's this guy, George? So right. <laughs> let me quickly tell you, if you don't know, George is the person I talk about that lives in Spain. And George is the person that shared a laugh wave with me and completely turned my life around. So um, that's the famous George. So, um, and we walked a very long path together and uh, George is going to um, explain uh, what he'd been up to very shortly the last few weeks and how he met Nedra. So, George, over to you, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. So, guys, <clears throat> here we are. I'm, if you haven't met me, my name's George. I'm from London. I live on the, my, the island of Mallorca in Spain and I love Lifeway. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's the best thing that came across me. Thank you to the person who invited me, told me about it, who's here on this call, Beverly. So um, uh, LifeWave, mm, we, we have a lot of things here with LifeWave. As, as Javi, who some of you know, says we're offering four things here. We're offering improved physical health, improved emotional health, improved spiritual health, and improved financial health. Now, many people, get their physical health very easily. They understand that. Many people understand emotional health. When we see, when we get messages and we get them regularly of, wow, this has changed uh, my, my, my daughter's life, my mother's life. Mm, the emotional changes in the whole family ripple out from them. Spiritual health, we get testimonials every day. Any of you who are on our groups will see those testimonials and um, you know, many times I get goosebumps when I read them. Financial health, that's obvious, but lots of people, and I, I don't, a lot of people talk about abundance. I don't. I talk about financial anxieties. In my case, and Chris as well, after COVID, we both lost our, mm, our business. Well, let's say our business lives were severely um, under attack, turned upside down. Two of my projects uh, out of three that I was doing, two of them suffered greatly. One died completely. And uh, the other, there's court cases at the moment. Chris, 10 years work, basically went down the drain. Uh, he had a million euro order for his product and that just disappeared overnight. So we were both up against the wall. Besides health, we were also both casting around for something to give our energies to. We're, we're, we're pretty good at what we do. Um, I know Chris is really good at what he does. So, um, you know, but we wanted something. I was certainly looking for something I could give my passion to. When, when I talk about LifeWave, I always say, like any business, you need to have persistence and consistency. That's with any business. You also need to have patience with any business, but passion here, 
have a lot of passion for this. So those things on the one hand and the other hand, but you need two more things. You need the desire and willingness to learn and not everybody has that. Some people mm, just don't want to learn. Some people do want to learn, but it's uh, they're not sure if they really want to do this or not. So before any of that that I've just discussed, you need to have made a decision. You have to say, I want to do this. Um, and this is mm, got to do in many cases with people. For example, the other day on my Spanish group, a lady said, I want to help a lot of people, but I mm, don't want money. I'm not interested in the money side of it. And we have something here with LifeWave, which I've said out loud, and some of the people who don't know me wouldn't, won't have heard me say this, but when I saw 1,000 people in my organization, and when I heard in my mind all the amazing stories people had told me from those people in my organization, not people from other groups, other organizations, people who I had direct interactions with, when I saw that 1,000 people heard the stories in my mind and saw the money that was landing in my account every week, I said, go make a fortune. Because the more money you make, the more you're helping people. The amount of money that lands in your back office is an expression of the success that you have, you have in reaching other people. Now, why am I saying this? Because a lot of people, and I, this is not personal, personal to anybody here on the call, but a lot of people, they have this thing like, mm, money's not so good, health is good, money's not, I'm not sure, do I really want, can I? And it becomes something that is a block and an energetic block to being successful, probably in whatever you do, but we're really concerned with LifeWave. So, you know, I'm, I would say, I learned this at a, an event, I open my arms, I open my arms completely, you can send me as much clean money as you like. So I met Nedra. I've been on a cruise with a lot of um, internet marketers, people with all sorts of projects, everything from mental health to um, uh, pure marketing for, um, you know, just straight to make money, uh, uh, everything from people working with Akashic Records to um, Nedra who works with the, the uh, well, she'll tell you how she works with our nervous systems. And, you know, in all of those meetings, and I, it, it happened to be on a boat, I didn't see <laughs> much of the boat, because we had meetings from breakfast time, people had breakfast meetings, then we had the event meetings every day on the ship that we weren't getting off to go to an island, which we did together with other people, so meeting people the whole time. And then uh, dinner, we would have dinner together at different tables, joining people, and then afterwards, people would meet after 10, latest I went to bed, I think it was 2.30 in the morning, talking to people. One of the people I met was Nedra. And I had a session with Nedra, because I said I would be happy to have a session with you because I liked her energy, and um, nothing to do with money. And I found that to be um, very unusual, really, and um, effective. So uh, talking with Nedra, I, we said, you know, maybe you could come and talk to our group. So, um, you know, a bit of back and forth to understand what we're about. Nedra's either signed up a bit earlier today or about to get her first patches. But when, when I introduced her to Chris, because we were deciding how to frame this, um, anyway, long story short, Chris said, yep, I love it. And here we go. Edra, over to you. Bit of a long-winded uh, introduction, but I wanted to give some context. Thank you, George. I'm so happy to be here. And this is my online clapping. So if you guys want to clap, if I see any clapping, this is what this means. So yes, <laughs> I, I am signing up today to um, become a brand partner and get my patches in the mail. So I'm excited about that. When I went on the cruise, my intention on the cruise was to meet the right people, the people that I was supposed to meet. And George was one of those meetings that I had. And I do believe in divine timing. I believe in um, things happening for a reason. And then I met with Chris and I feel like you are all here for a reason. And I am here 
with you. So I'm honored to be here. I'm passionate about working with entrepreneurs. I became an entrepreneur in 2011. I've been working with the subconscious mind for a decade. And what I discovered through working with the mind is that the nervous system can interfere greatly with what the mind wants to do. So we need to actually address both things, but I'm going to get into that um, in a little bit. I'm also passionate about health and wellness. I used to own um, fitness centers. I had five different franchises and that it just evolved into working with, with the mind really, because that is what is the blueprint for our life. So um, I'm, a pre I'm really grateful to be here with you guys. And I want to ask you guys a question. So how many of you brand partners absolutely love your product that you love LifeWave? <laughs> yes. If you know how to put a heart up, put a heart up there. Heart. And has it made a difference in your life? So I want you to think about that and put some comments in there. Just a short word or two. We got to hear Charles had a pain from 50 years that disappeared with one patch. So fill up the comments with what life change have you had from this, from your product, from LifeWave? And I feel like you are all here because you have a passion for the product. I'm sure if I talked to each one of you, you would have a story. And that's really what I want you to think about right now is why you're here, why you love the products and what it has done for you. Lifetime cough being gone, muscle strength, knee pain better. I love this. So the why that you're here is your passion. And that's what I really want you just to take a moment and feel. Okay, not with words, but I want you to feel in your body when you think about LifeWave and the product and what it's done for you. And notice what you're feeling in your body. So if you want to put that in the comment, tell me the feeling that you have when you think about your product. When you think about what it can do for you and what it can do for others. Yes. Love that. So our energy is everything. So you're feeling this excitement, this gratitude, feeling inspired and humbled and hope. I love it. Your energy is shifting. Oh, tears of gratitude. Now what I want you to think about is I want you to think about when you're sharing your product with someone else and it comes time to talk about money and what it costs. Okay, and, and think about now what's the feeling that's coming. I really want you to pay attention to this. Even close your eyes and think about talking to somebody and now it's like it costs this much money. Yeah, heavy. So yeah, come with some of those nervous, fearful, some anxiousness, block, block, tough. What that does is that shuts down your passion. So these blocks are preventing you from really taking your passion out there and helping others. And so that's what I want to really kind of get into a little bit and, and talk about today. Um, so it doesn't even matter where it came from or why you have it. Like, it doesn't matter. You can feel that emotion. And emotion is always more powerful than logic. So your emotion is what drives your behavior. This is why when people go join the gym in January or they try to go on a diet, they have very strong intentions. I want to do this. But then they have an emotional response that interferes with what they want to do. So what I do is get rid of that energy. We get rid of that block so that you can stay in that positive energy and carry out the actions that you want to carry out that align with your passion and your goals. So I'm kind of curious when we do that scenario and you talk about money, are you someone who shuts down? Are you someone who can fake it until you make it and kind of push through? So if you want to put share and put that in the comments, 
um, that would be, uh, I would love to, to hear kind of what happens to you. Yeah, that shutting down. Sometimes we get shut down before we even start. So there was a couple of things that George actually talked about. He was talking about um, persistence and consistency. And if we have money blocks, that's going to be, um, if that's going to interfere with your persistence and your consistency and your commitment, that energy, right? The, the emotion, because that is going to, that's going to block us. So we want to, we want to clear that out. So the emotion is number one, what we need to work on. And then the second thing that we need to address in order to clear this up is changing your beliefs around money. And so some of that was already, George talked about that. George talked about the, the money that's in your account is an energetic exchange and it's a reflection of how many people that you're helping in the world. So I want you to think about money as air. It's a form of energy. You can think of it as love. Love is a form of energy. It's a giving and a receiving. Money is also an amplifier. That's the way I look at it. So money can amplify. If you're a good person doing good work and you have money, it can amplify your ability to help more. In past generations, sometimes people that have had money had a bad reputation. So if you have a lot of money, you're a bad person. Um, maybe in those cases, the money was just an amplifier for that person. So we don't want to blame the money for how it's used. Money itself is a neutral energy. It's how it's used. So I want you to start to think about money as something that you can use to amplify what you're doing. And I'm assuming the group that's here has very good intentions of taking health and wellness around the world and making an impact on people's lives. So imagine being able to amplify your abilities. The other thing that is super important for you is to actually take care of yourself. So with money, you can be taken care of. If your cup is empty, how many more people are you going to be able to help? And the universe does want to support you in having, I do like the word abundant, um, but having an abundant life and having um, enjoying your life while you're fulfilling your life work. So I am very much, I'm very spiritual about that our soul has a higher purpose, being in alignment with that, following your purpose and your path. But the universe also wants to support us in living a quality, abundant life, a healthy life, a life of balance. And so money allows us to do that. So what we wanna do is clear that energy around money. So once those that emotional block has been removed, you get to have that passion and that purpose and you can stay with that energy. And then it's going to make those conversations a lot easier. I'm not going to get into sales today, but sales also gets a bad reputation. We're not trying to talk people into anything. You actually have a solution for people. So in that talking, when you discover that they have an ailment or a problem that you can help them with, I have a solution for you. And it's not our job to decide if they can afford it or how much it's worth to them. We actually are doing a disservice if we're not sharing it and we could be changing someone's life. So I want you to kind of think about all of those, those things as you kind of look at, we have to look at all of these things. How do I feel about money? What's my story about money, helping people? And what do I actually have that's that's interfering and blocking? But I also know how strong these blocks are. And these blocks can literally freeze you in your tracks. You may want to go help people, but you won't make that phone call and you won't go up and you won't, you can hear a conversation and you have something to help, but I can't even go talk to them. So it, it is really important to clear clear these blocks out. Let me make sure that I'm uh, hitting all my points there. So I have uh, made I have made a really special offer for you guys just for Team Triple Three um, that I'm going to tell you about in just a little bit. But I want to 
have you experience um, the work that I do? And so I'm going to teach you something today that this alone can really change your life. Um, so I talk about the nervous system, but the nervous system and the meridians are basically the same thing. So if you're familiar with the meridians, they are like highways of energy that flow through your body. If they're flowing in the proper direction, you are in polarity. If they are not, so if we have blockages or if we're triggered, so being triggered is what I did when we talked about money and some of you are like, you had that freeze, that was a trigger. And so that can come up and it can interrupt the flow of your energy, or you can think about it, just your nervous system. Your nervous system's going into fight or flight. That's what we're used to referring to it as. But I have um, a technique here that I'm going to show you how you can check to see if you are in polarity. And if you're not, I'm actually going to give you some tools so that you can correct it. So if you are not in polarity, it's referred to as psychological reversal. Self-sabotage is basically what you can think of that is, as. And if you have had chronic anxiety or depression, you could be in chronic psychological reversal. So this is something that I'm going to suggest that you check daily and that you can correct daily. So that's what I'm going to teach you right now. And then I'm going to take you through actually releasing some things from our nervous system today. Um, so if you take your um, index finger and your thumb of your right hand together and just rub it in a circle and it doesn't matter what direction that you're moving it, but I want you to feel the texture between your fingers. And then I want you um, to say your name out loud and then notice the texture. So my name is Nedra. You'll say your own name and, and feel that texture. Usually when we're speaking a truth, then it's going to be smooth. You're going to feel a smooth texture. And now I'm going to say something false. So I'm going to say my name is Bob and my name is not Bob. And as soon as I do that, I get this drag or the stickiness between my thumb and my finger. It won't really do a good circle. So you should feel a roughness or a stickiness between. If you don't, then you're in psychological reversal. So if you're reversed, if when you say your true name and it's sticky, and you're the opposite, that's reverse. So that's psychological reversal. If it's the same both ways, psychological reversal. So we want it smooth when we say the truth and we want it sticky when we're saying an untruth. That's how we check. So I would recommend checking that every morning to see if you are in polarity. If you're not, the quickest way to bring you back in is three points. So right hand, two fingers, Take it to the left side of the chest. And this is what we call a sore spot. So people just naturally take their fingers to the right spot. You can just rub the spot. And then I want you to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And as you do that, I want you to think about just releasing tension. This actually grounds you. So I think about like any energy that I don't want or emotion or stress just draining out of the bottom of the feet and you're connecting with the earth. And then we can tap under the nose. This spot is to create internal change. And we're going to say a positive affirmation. I'm calm, confident, and in control. I'm calm, confident, and in control. I am calm, confident, and in control. I am tapping that affirmation into my nervous system for internal change. Now we're going to do external change. So your left hand, we're going to tap the outside of the left hand with the same affirmation. I'm calm, confident, and in control. I am calm, confident, and in control. I am calm, confident, and in control. This meridian helps with the external change. So we're creating internal change, external change with that affirmation. Those are the three points, one, two, three. We're gonna come back to the muscle testing. So you can say your name. My name is, feel the texture, and then say a false. My name is, make up a name, and then you should feel the difference smooth to sticky or smooth to rough. <clears throat> and I'm going to take it one step further for you. If you've been in chronic and chronic psychological reversal, I'm going to teach you um, collarbone breathing. So if you're a person right now that you still can't tell the difference in the fingers or they're still reversed, you're going to want to do this collarbone breathing three times a day. 
I would do it morning, midday, and do it at night. And this is going to retrain your energy to flow in the right way. So this is going to take maybe about five minutes, um, but it's very important because if you are in psychological reversal, we want to get that corrected. So start with your right hand, two index finger and middle finger. Take your left hand to the bones. You're between the ring finger and the pinky, and you can just hold it. So this is a healing spot. I'm just going to give you this little tip too. If you want to promote healing inside your body, I know you guys have wonderful patches for that, but if you want to do a natural boost as well, just rub this. This is a healing spot. This also helps you to express yourself. So if you need a little boost in expressing yourself, you can just hands under the table, under the desk, just rub this nice little spot. Um, and it's very soothing. So you're just going to hold it, right hand, two fingers, touch your right collarbone. Okay, and I'm going to walk you through a breathing technique and we'll be moving the fingers around. So take a deep breath in through your nose. Pause and hold the breath. Exhale halfway. Pause and hold. Exhale completely. Inhale halfway. Pause and hold. And then you're going to breathe normally. As we switch the fingers, they go to the left side. Right fingers touching the left collarbone. And by the way, the left, the collarbones are the fight or flight. So this is where we're bringing ourselves out of fight or flight and we're using the breath. So breathing in through your nose, pause and hold, exhale halfway, pause and hold, exhale completely, pause and hold, inhale halfway, pause and hold and breathe normally. Now we're gonna go to the knuckles. So right knuckles to the right collarbone, take a deep breath in through your nose. Pause and hold, exhale halfway. Pause and hold, exhale completely. Pause and hold, inhale halfway. Pause and hold and breathe normally. Take the knuckles, right knuckles to the left collarbone. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Take a deep breath, hold and then exhale halfway. Hold, exhale completely. Hold, inhale halfway. Hold and then breathe normally. Perfect, now we're gonna switch hands. So you're gonna work with your left hand, index finger, middle finger, right hand goes to the bone between the ring finger and pinky, left fingers to the left collarbone. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Pause and hold, exhale halfway. Pause and hold, exhale completely. Pause and hold, inhale halfway. Pause and hold and then breathe normally. Left fingertips to the right collarbone. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Pause and hold. Exhale halfway. Pause and hold. Exhale completely. Pause and hold. Inhale halfway. Pause and hold and then breathe normally. Pay attention to how your body's feeling. Do you feel that calm sense coming in? We've got two more to do. We're going to do knuckles, left knuckles to the left collarbone. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Pause and hold, exhale, exhale halfway. Pause and hold, exhale completely. Pause and hold, inhale halfway. Pause and hold and breathe normally. Left knuckles to the right collarbone, take a deep breath in. Hold, exhale halfway. Hold, exhale completely. Hold, inhale halfway. Pause and hold and then breathe normally. Notice how your body feels. Okay, that's completely resetting the nervous system, getting you back into the proper flow. Now we can come back to the fingers. So you're feeling that texture. Let's say my name is Nedra. Feel the texture, nice and smooth. My name is Bob. No. Okay, I can feel definite, sticky. Perfect. So this can make a huge difference in your life. If you've been in psychological reversal, you're going to think in ways that don't align with what you actually want. So let's eliminate this. So this is a tool you now have in your tool belt. Um, this is being recorded. You'll be able to access the, the replay, rewatch this. We're about half an hour in, I think it was maybe when I started. And you can come back until you remember the steps that you're supposed to do and write them down. Um, so I want to today take you through um, releasing some actual stored energy from your nervous system. And I want to start with, um, I want to start with the eyebrows. So we're going to use both hands 
and you're going to come to the inside edge of your eyebrows. So this is your bladder meridian, but this is where we store trauma. Okay. So in terms of money, I just want you to think about money and I want you to think about, you actually don't need to think about too much, but by us pressing on this and we're going to use breath, our breath, I want you to inhale and let the energy of trauma come up. Feel that, honor it, acknowledge it, and then you're going to use your breath to release it. And it's a double exhale. So a quick exhale followed by a long exhale. So honor it and let it come up. Just feel it, acknowledge it, and then let it go. Honor it, let it come. And then honor it and let it go. Breathe in, let it come. And breathe out, let it go. So usually it's three to five breaths. I want you to kind of keep going with it until you feel the shift. Some people will shift in three breaths. Some might be five or six, but you'll feel a little calmness come in and that energy will be released. Okay, so when you're, you're done, we're going to move to, what's the next point? Oh, I want to do under the eyes. So this is the stomach meridian. So this is anxiety, worry, uh, chronic anxiety and fear. So that's usually really related to money. So I want you just to let that come up. So breathe in, let it come. Honor it and then let it go. Breathe in, let it come up. Acknowledge it and then let it go with your breath. So these stored emotions haven't been properly processed and they got stored in the nervous system. So as you're welcoming it to come up and as we're gently pressing on this emotional release point, we're freeing that energy and then we use the breath and let it go. Breathe in, let it come. And breathe out, let it go. And then the next one that I want to release from, it's going to be the collarbone. So fight or flight. And unfortunately, that's what we have associated with money sometimes. It's a survival and we get into survival mode. If you're carrying that survival energy around money, this is where it's going to be stored. So I want you just to gently press your fingers on, right on, just touch the collarbone. If you want to come right underneath, you kind of find the inside of the collarbone. And if you drop down under the collarbone, you might even find a sore spot. When we find those sore spots, that's a key that there is energy being held in there. So now we're going to breathe in, let that energy come up. Honor it, feel it, and then use the breath, let it go. Breathe in, let it come. Breathe out, let it go. Honor it, let it come up. And then honor it and let it go. Good, stay with it until you feel that shift. Breathe in, let it come. And then breathe out, let it go. So that charge should be kind of releasing. You feel a little sense of calm coming in. So we've, we've let that go. So when I'm working with, I work with groups and I work one-on-one -on -one with people. So in the groups, we'll have a theme that will work through something and we'll be muscle testing. We can muscle test and go back to the root cause of when it started, and then we can release and the layers that we have to release. When I'm one-on-one -on -one with someone, it's just slightly different. We get really specific about your specific challenge. We get into your exact outcome that you want, what you want that to look like. We go back. It's a combination of inner child, subconscious healing, releasing from the nervous system, upgrading the chakras. So if you're familiar, that's the energy centers that go along the spine. So we are um, entraining them to the new version of you after we've released what we need to release. And then you get, um, this is true for groups or one-on-one -on -one, that you get positive affirmations that we tap in to the under here for internal change and external. So specifically related to money, we want to up grade all of your beliefs about money. So what I've done specifically for this team 333 is created a four week group session. So once a week for four weeks, we come together as a group and we're going to address your beliefs around money, what you've learned around money, what you've experienced around money, 
We're going to release from the nervous system. We're going to upgrade your nervous system. We're going to upgrade your mind. We're going to upgrade your chakras. And you get two one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. So normally um, to work with me in a group setting similar to that, it, it's $1,000. And to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, it ranges from $1,500 to $3,000. But I've made a really special deal for you guys because I am passionate about helping entrepreneurs take their good work out into the world. And this is also something um, me kind of paying it forward. So I've made a special offer for that package of four group sessions, two one on one sessions for $597. And because I love you guys so much, even though I just met you, I'm going to give you an additional $100 off. So you can have all of that for $4.97. So completely upgrade. Think about upgrading your beliefs around money and being free from those blocks when you're talking to your clients or your, your prospects. And that's not interfering with your message. And you're in that positive energy of the results that you've had and sharing that good work and opening up. That investment will be returned to you, um, I think, an infinite amount if you can really dig into your money story. So here's a link that I'm sharing. That is the link to the group package. Um, and for a limited time, here's the coupon code team333 that gives you an extra $100 off. And then I'm also going to share with you um, a one-on, it's actually two one-on-one -on -one sessions. If you want to go just the one-on-one -on -one session route and work one-on-one -on -one with that. Um, for $2.97, you get two sessions with me. Um, so I hope that you all feel nice and calm and relaxed um, today after working with me. And I would love to, if you want to put in the comments or any comment about the emotion that you felt and that was released, were you surprised? Could you feel the emotion? Could you feel it leaving? Um, so if anyone wants to share about that, that would be awesome. So thank you for your time. And Chris or George, if you guys have any, any questions, anything else that you want me to. I, 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 I will, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, David says, love, love it, short, sweet, and simple. So I would like, uh, would you be happy to answer if some people, two or three questions? Absolutely. I didn't know if I want if we had time to open that up, but I of course I yeah, no, I, I love me, I love questions. So I um, appreciate David's um, comment there because don't overlook the simplicity of this. That energy stored in your nervous system is powerful. It can make you freeze. It can make you do the opposite of what you want to do, the self sabotage. And so when you're freeing yourself, not only is it helping you mentally, but it's physically helping your body too. So I am a believer that when that energy is stored in your body long-term, that it can manifest into something physical. And then you guys are supporting that with your, with your patches to help kind of reverse it. But how did the body get out of balance in the first place? And so most of the time, I'm a believer, most of the time that's stress or emotions that have created that imbalance in the first time. Um, there's a question from Dr. Ali. She's interested to know how similar this process is to EFT, which she uses regularly, and kinesiology, in which I use my thumb and fifth finger to detect changes, mm -hmm. or the sway test. Absolutely. So there's a lot of different ways to muscle test. This is just convenient way that we can do this and we can see each other through Zoom. It's a simple way. The sway test is a standing your body actually sways forward or backward. There is a muscle testing where if, if you had a second person, you can use the strength in your body. Basically, when it comes to um, the kinesiology or muscle testing, the strength in your body or the energy in your body is stronger when there's something positive. And then when something weakens it, whether it's um, a belief or something untrue or um a substance being in your presence that is not good for your body that can also weaken your energy. Um, it's interesting with EFT. Um, I want to say this with a lot of respect to EFT, but that was the very 
first modality way back when I started my journey that I started using and um, I used it with my daughter and I actually created a, heal a healing crisis with her. Um, so I was a little, here's what I know about these points. This is what I've learned. If you're releasing, we want to press and hold. But if you're putting in a positive affirmation, then you can tap. So sometimes I've been with other people that use different, and there's there's a lot of different types of ways to work with the nervous system. And I have been with people that are having you talk about a negative experience while we're tapping. What I know now, I would never do that again because tapping is, is putting it into your nervous system where we want to release. So basically to me, this is like the button that allows us, oh, we're going to open it. Now we use the breath just to kind of process it and let it go. And when it comes to a positive affirmation, like we did in the beginning, I'm calm, confident, and in control, then we can use the tapping there. So that's my um, experience and my, my thoughts about that. But muscle testing, we can use that to tell us a lot. I use muscle testing to determine where to put my patch. George gave me a sample patch. So I just use the, the muscle testing to see where it would be more beneficial on my body. So you could just what I taught you with this, you could say, is it better to put my bat patch below my belly button or back of the neck? And your, your energy would tell you the proper answer. Um, so, yeah. So the reason with the breath is so that you completely empty the lungs. And so by using two breaths, it's a little bit easier to completely exhale. When the nervous system goes into fight or flight, that's the breath is shortened. It's shallow. We stop breathing. So that's a big part of moving things. So we're hitting the emotional release spot and we're using the breath. And so that's why I encourage you nice deep breath. But when we're um, storing energy or holding energy or we're in fight or flight, then we're not breathing very deeply. So I'd like to quickly jump in um, where you were just talking about the patches now. Um, you know, you said George gave you the sample patch. And now that you've joined and become part of our family, which is so exciting, you're obviously going to get your patches very soon. And what would be quite amazing is with your insight and your knowledge, now that you're going to be exposed to these amazing little patches, um, in the next... Um, uh, totally up to you in the next uh, maybe two three weeks or in a month uh, we would love you to come back um and share with the community uh what you've picked up with your experience together with the patches and share a bit of wisdom with us and say oh this is what i've been doing and this is what i found and this is how i can use the patch in conjunction with what i'm doing and see how we can integrate everything yeah. together. I think, what do you guys think of that? I'm, I'm doing this. I think this is quite cool. <laughs> it is quite cool because of the different, yeah, we have those different points on our body. So I'm not sure, but it's going to be fun to, um, I guess, I don't want to say experiment because I feel like being intuitively guided and then see what the kind of the feedback or the response is. But yeah, I am um, excited to explore that as well. Fantastic. Now, that's pretty, what made me think about that also is when you were talking about the meridian points. So, um, you know, obviously when you get um, the, the leaflets, you know, obviously each product's got its own frequency and you put it on the meridian points. So, um, so you know, I picked up on that and I thought this is definitely, there's a lot of synergy um, involved here, which is beautiful. Yeah. Very exciting. So does anybody have another question? Um, uh, I'm, I can see the chat, my thing's gone slow here. Um, and on acupressure points, uh, acupressure points. Mm -hmm. Um, not sure. okay, does anybody have a question for um, Nedra? Any specific questions? Um, I love questions, and when I do. I guess while we're waiting to see if there's another question, I do want to share that, you know, as an entrepreneur, it's so important to do that deep inner work because entrepreneurs are kind constantly expanding their comfort zone. 
And when we're standing outside of our comfort zone, that's when those triggers come up. That's when those blocks come up. So working on those blocks is going to be the easiest way for you to expand and grow and move forward. So I have a lot of respect for entrepreneurs because I know what it takes and you have to step out of your comfort zone, but doing that inner work and having a new, like expanding your image about yourself and your beliefs about, about yourself and clearing out beliefs about money is going to open up your energy to do so much more. Um, so I, w- I would add this, you know, with, with, with LifeWave specifically, and, and, and I've done all sorts of businesses through my life, but 80% of this work with LifeWave is the work you do on yourself. 20% is the mechanical technical side how it works and 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 working with other people but 80 percent of it really is the internal work that you do which is why i wanted to bring nedra uh, to meet you guys and and the why i and uh, asked her to work on an offer that could work for her because you know she's a professional in what she does and and that could be beneficial to to anybody who wants to work on 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 money blocks, which you know are a reality, and and I'm actually very interested to see the responses in the chat um, with the exercise she did in the beginning. How do you feel? How do you feel at different points? How do you feel about your product and the passion? How do you feel when you need to talk about it so <laughs> and, and seeing the results? I, I see a couple of comments or questions I want to respond to, if that's okay. okay. Or, Go for it. So, um, someone asked about when my healing journey began. So about um, 10 years ago, my then 18 year old daughter, I found out she had an eating disorder and I was crushed to say the least um, because it took me back to my childhood and I had been dieting and overweight since before I was 10 years old. And it all came flooding into me. What did I teach my child about her body and about herself unknowingly? So that launched me on this journey, which originally began to help her, but I quickly realized it was about me and that we actually can change. We can grow. We can heal. I had no concept of that 10 years ago. I thought this is how life is. This is my station. This is where I'm going to be. I grew up dirt poor on a farm um, with six. I was one of six children and I've gone on to have multiple businesses, creating million dollar income, upgrading homes, traveling to 20 different countries in the world, but it's heart first and it's serving people first. And then I get the experiences and I meet the most amazing people. And that's why I'm here today. Um, That's what began my journey. And then there was a certain point when I realized how far I had come, that's when I knew this was my actual path. And this was my purpose to help other people. Lately, I like to talk about as a rocket ship, like let's get on the rocket ship and let's go. With this work, the work and the technique that I use, it is that effective. And it's, it's like I said, don't overlook the simplicity. It, it's powerful. I've spent 10 years finding the best, most effective permanent way. And this is it, because it includes all the aspects that we need. There was another question about when we would um, start with the group that would st- it's Tuesdays in February and I'm going to do it at this same time. So I think it in it's eight o'clock where Chris is 8 p.m. Yeah. So it'd yeah. be at the same time. We'll do it on Tuesday nights. It would be Zoom um, live. And then if someone couldn't make the live, you can watch the replay and you can still go through and do the work. Of course, it's better if you can be here in person because then you can contribute. And who knows, I might have bring up people individually and be working with them. It might be as a whole group thing. Um, there's meditation. There's, there's just so many things. We might get into manifesting a little bit, um, but it's definitely exciting. Awesome. Um, and I think that was, did I, I don't know if I missed any other questions, but I saw those. Main piece of advice, the recommendation for us. My recommendation is you, always look inward and work inward. Look at your emotions. As I took you through that, like, okay, I have this passion for for these patches. It changed my life. I want to help other people. You have that energy. And when you're in that energy, you expand. 
you attract the right people to you. You're, you're shining in that energy. But when your triggers come up, we shrink. We freeze up. We're in the wrong energy. My best advice for you is to do that inner work so that you can be shining bright all the time. Thanks for, thanks for having me because I really love to share and um, anything and everything is possible. It's just, you have to believe it in here and here. Thank you. All right, guys. I think that was, that was a wonderful presentation. Uh, I appreciate being here. Thank you for coming and um, thank you for sharing what you've shared and let's see where we go. Absolutely. I love it. And I'm going to be excited to see who I get to work with. And those people are going to be the success story and we're going to come back and we're going to share that with everybody else and just see exactly what happens over the next month. So Chris, Sorry, George. <laughs> uh, Nedra, thank you so much for taking the time out and um, speaking to our beautiful community. Um, I just, just looking at the uh, at the comments and looking at the people's reactions, I think people got um, a lot out of it and um, a lot to a lot to process and um, some amazing. What you said right at the end there, don't overlook the simplicity. I think that's worth absolutely everything in life so thank you for taking the time out to speak to our team george thank you so much for uh, arranging this call and um yeah we're looking forward to keeping in contact and also welcome to lifewave and um, your exciting journey as well so we're definitely looking forward to seeing you on the screen very very soon george uh, I, I would you. add that um mm -hmm. I, I did post a picture of myself in the group because I wanted people to see the, I, mean, I, I, I did one session with Nedra and really the, the way I was looking in that picture is kind of a result of that session. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's what I would say. Exactly. Actually, sometimes one sees pictures of oneself and one goes, uh, and other times one goes, oh, I like that one. Did you set, is that the one you sent to me? Yeah. Yeah, that was amazing. Your energy was fantastic. Very cool. So I think unless somebody wants to say something, let me go back and look at the chat. I think we get in that we get into with our 59 minutes and 59 seconds so that we can have the subtitles. Oh, by the way, and it will start was on February well. the 6th. <laughs> not, not next Tuesday, but the following Tuesday. So that gives uh, plenty of time. And if you've got any questions, I'm sure we can get the answers. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Cool. So we got like one minute because I want to make sure the subtitles uh, stay on. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, Yeah, we're gonna we, we gotta finish in 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. Otherwise the subtitles won't um come on. <laughs> okay, guys, mm -hmm. thanks for taking the time out and see you guys all on the call on Saturday night, the vision 2024. Saturday night with, um, David. with David. With David Schmidt. Same Zoom link. Um, hop on the calls, eight o'clock Saturday night. Um, and we're not gonna be going on for 10 hours till four o'clock in the morning. Uh, this will be till just on midnight. So get your popcorn and coffee ready. Okay, guys, enjoy the rest of your evening and see you all on Saturday. Love you all. Night, everybody. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>